Okay, hi folks. Uh, welcome to our next session. Today, I will introduce to you ROS topics. Uh, we need these ROS topics to transport some information from one node of our ROS system to another. And to introduce you uh, to introduce to you this ROS topics, I will use the example from our last session where we send some information from our Telop node to our um, Gazebo differential drive robot. And this was already done via ROS topics. So um, let me introduce it to you. So we have here our Telop node. Our Telop node. Then we have here our um, differential drive node. So this is our differential drive node. And then we need some communication channel in between. And this case, or such a communication channel is in ROS called ROS topic. And this ROS topic here we will call um, command velocity. This is the real name which we used last time. And I will mark ROS topics always with a rectangular and ROS nodes with the overall ROS cycle. Okay, so we now send or we want to send some information from the TILOP node to the differential drive node using our communication channel, so our ROS topic. And to do that, we have to define um, the message type which is allowed to send through this um, through our communication channel. So we need here kind of a message type. So and this message type is defined by a so-called ROS message. And there are, is, there are a lot of already existing ROS message, which I highly recommend to use. But however, if you, if you don't find any convenient ROS method for usage for a certain project, you can always um, create own ROS messages. Um, such a ROS message could, for example, be simply um, a vector. For example, vector. Oh. For example, vector three. So this message vector three would then contain simply um, three floats, sixty-four. So x y and that. So that's it. That would be one message. If we define now that the command velocity topic should only be allowed to transport messages of this type, then we are limited to our um, to sending in each step um, x, y and that uh, with uh, over the channel, over the communication channel. However, what we would use here or what we would like to use here is a bit more an advanced message and here we use the twist message. So we use the twist message and the twist message uh, contains now two vector messages. So we have two vector messages and the one vector message is called linear. And the other is called angular. Oh, angular. So that means we transport here via our communication channel um, six uh, float variables. So one is called linear.xyz and the other is called angular.xyz. And so we can define a whole uh, six degree of freedom um, common, uh, velocity vector or velocity message for our differential drive robot. And that's the whole idea of these ROS topics and ROS messages. We can simply um, put them together so we can stack them. We can um, we can now even define a new message which includes a twist message and another twist message and so on to um, make even more complex message uh, more complex message types. We also can 
uh, we also could uh, listen to our topic here with other notes. So we could also hear uh, using, for example, another drift drive node, which which listens also to this mess uh, to the topic, and so on. And we could also um, even use more uh, more publisher nodes to this topic. However, that in most cases doesn't make so much sense, but to use more subscriber nodes um, to one site, that is highly recommended. So these are the subscriber nodes, because they subscribe to this topic, subscriber, and these are the publisher nodes. And that's the whole idea. So we define a ROS topic, and this ROS topic has some publisher, or at best one publisher and some subscriber. And the communication is then peer to peer so that we directly send the message from our teleop to our drift drive and from our teleop to our drift drive and so on and so forth. So that's basically the idea behind that. And the connection between the nodes is done by the ROS master later. However, we will go in more detail in this in uh, further lectures. Now I will just show you how to access ROS topics and to show in the terminal uh, during uh, the run of our simulation environment um, for debugging and so on. So I already searched the uh, differential drive workspace. Uh, now we can start our simulation environment with our differential drive system by simply using cross launch again. Uh, we choose our simulation environment package and then our diff drive launch file. So let's launch this file. Okay, fine, everything is good. So now we launch our file, we see our robot. And now uh, let me open another terminal. I will put this away. And here's a fresh terminal. And now we have can have a look using ROS topic list and these are the already published ROS topics. So we have here clock, we have command velocity, we have gazebo link states, a lot of gazebo topics, joint state, odom, ROS out and so on and so forth. And if we want to have now a look into our ROS topic, for example we want to um, see which are the subscribers and publishers to one ROS topic, we can now simply enter ROS topic um, info and then the topic name. So in our case, command velocity. And as we can see, we have no publishers yet, but we have one subscriber, it's Gazebo, it's our simulation environment. And we can, this, we can do this also for, for example, for odometry, for the odometry data for odom topic. And there we get, got one publisher, that's Gazebo, and none subscribers. Okay, and when we want to, so when we want to check uh, what kind of messages are sent right now, we can even use ROS topic um, echo, and then, for example, again, Odom, and then we can see already publishing something right okay this is how a message looks like um, let me kill this so we have here this is where the message starts we have here a header um, then here's a sequence timestamp in seconds and nanoseconds we have here autumn link base link so frame ID short frame ID we have here pose and so on depending on what kind of message type we are using um, let me hit again ROS topic info the type of message we are using is mentioned here in the top. So here in our case, in the automatry message, it's enough messages automatry. And for example, for the command velocity, it is the geometry messages twist. The geometry messages thereby defines a package uh, in which the twist message is located. Okay. If we want to have now a look into our ROS message so we can then simply use mess message info twist for example 
and then we get some infos about our Rust message. Or not. Ah, oh, sorry. I did a mistake. We have to, of course, enter the full name. That's not the correct name. Sorry, that was my fault. Um, so we have to define the correct message type. In this case, geometry messages twist. And then we get how this message is um, defined. So as I mentioned before, it's defined by a geometry messages vector three linear. That's called linear. And these mess uh, this vector is defined by um, three variables, three throw variables, um, x, y, and z. And then there's another vector three message, and that's angular. And for example, if we want to have a look into um, our nav message autometry, we can do that also. And then we get a bit larger message, so we have a header, as I already mentioned, we have a um, timestamp and so on. Then we have a pose, a quaternion, an orientation, and so on and so forth. Okay, so, okay let's open another terminal. Uh, now let's run our tailor op, twist, keyboard message. And now we can here have a look again into our ROS topic info CMD velocity. And as you can see, now we have a publisher here, a Telop Twist keyboard. So this is our ROS node, which we opened here right now. And then we can see using ROS echo. Uh, right now it's nothing is published, but when I now start the tailor up key, we see we are publishing now some comments. Uh, perfect status. Okay. So, that's it for today. Um, see you next time.